Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this week I want to talk Teslas with you. Okay, many of you might know me. I have owned Teslas now for nearly five years. Um, and in that time I've had three uh, Midnight Silver Model S 90Ds. All three of them have been Model S 90Ds and all three of them have been Midnight Silver. Um, and I love my Teslas. I do love my Teslas. And Lindsay is on her second Model 3. Um, I originally bought Lindsay a standard range Model 3, which was um, 0 to 60 was, I think, 5.3 seconds in that. And every time I drove it, like weekends, I'd always think, what does the 3 second 0 to 60 Model 3 performance feel like? I wish I'd got that one. Anyway, while we had that, in the short period of time, we wrapped it. Um, I got the guys at work to wrap it in a psychedelic flip colour, which was awesome. And then we managed to get out of that, get our money back on that, and buy a Model 3 Performance for Lindsay. And I put that through the company, and I saved the company nearly £10,000 in corporation tax in that one year of, of putting the car through. So I, I, I saved a lot of money in corporation tax. Now that got me thinking, because that was last year. And talking to my accountant... And for this financial year, I can do exactly the same again. Now, my Model S, we haven't been using much. In fact, we've not been using either of the Teslas very much during lockdowns and what have you. We haven't been going very far. And it's just been depreciating on the driveway. So back in September, I took my Model S down to R. Simons in uh, Bournemouth. And I put the car up for sale there. Now, they've sold two of our Teslas previously. So I know they're good guys. Um, they put it up for sale. They originally had a buyer. That fell through um in october and come november they had another buyer and they tied the deal up and i ordered my new tesla which was a i always wanted a tesla model x um i never liked the look of them when they first came out but they've grown on me a bit and i kind of i like the idea of the space inside the six seat interior and i've never had a performance tesla i've always had just a standard 90d so i quite fancied this time having a P100D Model X performance. So after the funds had been transferred into my account, I decided to push the button and I ordered a brand new Tesla Model X performance. So delivery was meant to be in March 2021, which would just keep it in this financial year for the company. And by putting that through the company, we'd save nearly £20,000 in corporation tax. So really that was the main reason for buying the car. Um, and putting it through the company and saving the company a chunk of corporation tax. Because you can do that. You can claim 19% off the full purchase price in the first year against your corporation tax. But just after placing my order, the price of a Tesla Model X performance jumped from 105000 to £110,000. And I felt very smug because I was locked in at 105000 for the P100D Model X performance. Roll forward now to... What was mentioned a couple of weeks ago, which was the new facelift um, Model X and Model S plaid mode. And what they've effectively done is they discontinued the, the Model X P100D and replaced it with the plaid. Essentially, it's the same car. It's a, it's a revamped interior. Um, it's a slight facelift on the outside. I mean, it does look lovely. However, that's now 117 and a quarter thousand pounds. And... I just, I can't justify that extra money. And Tesla got in touch and said, uh, would I like to um, reorder the new Tesla Model X plaid mode and delivery would be 2022. Now, I didn't mind delivery being 2022. We're not using the cars right now. Um, so, you know, that didn't matter. I didn't mind waiting a year, but I couldn't justify paying another 12 and a quarter thousand pounds. So... Uh, they got in touch the other day, asked um, and offered two thousand pounds off the price. To be fair, which would have brought it down to just over one hundred and fifteen thousand pounds. Again, I was pushed at spending one hundred and five thousand on a car. I'm not going to do one hundred and fifteen thousand on a car, especially in these uncertain times. So that's why I've just cancelled my Tesla Model X order, not because the car's no good, purely because. They've put the price up by ten, twelve thousand pounds. Um, I can't take delivery for another year, but that wouldn't be an issue. But we're in uncertain times, and I think during these times, the money's probably better off 
kept in our pockets rather than spending it on another Tesla to be sat on the driveway and depreciating and not getting used. Because Lindsay's not even using her Tesla at the minute. It's just sat here. She goes to the shops maybe twice a week. Um, so I can use this one. So there we are. I've sold my Model S. We've only got a Model 3 performance at the minute that we're sharing. But that'll do for now. And then let's see in maybe another 12 months time where we're at. And maybe I'll consider ordering a Model X then. In the meantime, guys, I'll enjoy Lindsay's Model 3 performance, I guess. Um, and the electric van, of course. I bought the new Citroen Dispatch um, electric van, which I think I'll do a video on soon and show you that. So there it is as a wrap. There's nothing wrong with Teslas. I love Teslas, and we've had five Teslas, in fact. I've had three Model S's. Lindsay's had two Model 3's, and I still am determined to have a Model X, but just not at this time. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you next time.